Hey friends, Catherine here. I'm going to be doing a little bit more paper folding today. I think today we want to fold a mouse. I think a nice multicolored speckly mouse is just the ticket. So let's pick a good paper. Mm, I like this one. And you can use single-sided paper for this. Um, the mouse will only have one side showing outward. So if you want to use single-sided paper, one that isn't double printed, you absolutely can, and that will work. The first thing that we are going to do is take and fold our paper in half into a triangle with the right side out facing down. There we go. In half and then what we are going to do is take and flip it over actually we wanted the right side out facing up sorry took me a second to realize that so you want the right side out facing up so take and fold it in half into a triangle with the right side out facing up now flip it over so that we've got the wrong side out facing up and take our corner and we will have um, if we've got the crease that we just made running up and down we're going to take our side corners the ones that are not meeting crease and bring the bottom edge of each of those up to line up with our crease as closely as we can make it go all the way down to the corner and crease that and the same thing on the other side all the way down to the corner take all the way up and crease Okay, and then unfold those and turn it around so that they are facing upward and do the same thing with the opposite sides so that it, two of the corners have three creases originating out from each of them and two of the corners aren't touching any creases at all. Hopefully, if it all works out, just... Pressing the paper gently into shape and creasing it down. Okay, now here comes the tricky part. We are going to make both those secondary creases that we just did be folded down at the same time. So top to bottom and top to bottom so we end up with kind of like this then these we want to come all the way up to that point and all the way down to that corner and crease it there and then all the way up to this corner and all the way down to that corner and crease it there and now we want to lie them down flat in one direction because these these flaps here are what's going to be making the ears of our mouse um, next we are going to take and fold this underneath so that this crease this upward crease that we just made matches the flat crease at the back so our paper will come under and lie flat like that and we will have this little pointy bit sticking out to one side and we can lie that down and put it underneath so that it doesn't get in the way when we do the other side go 
all the way down to the corner and lie it flat and there we have it okay both sides done one of them tucked under the other but that's all right we'll leave it that way for now we will pull it out again later next thing that we're going to do is start forming the nose and the nose is going to be on the side that these two flaps are facing toward so in this case it's this end we're going to remember this end and turn it over and fold this end back so that it comes Mm, half an inch past the midway mark uh, the further back you fold it the shorter the mouse's nose will be the less far back you fold it the longer the mouse's nose will be so you can make him have a really long nose or a really stubby short nose depending on how far back you fold this tip then what we're going to do is take these two corners down here that we've formed and bring them up so that they make a crease which goes from that corner to the center. So a crease there and then from that corner to the center means a crease there. Okay, and this is going to be our nose. Then we're going to flip it back over and we are going to fold it down the center and while we're folding it down the center that tip that was tucked underneath will pull out and there we go all right nearly done you guys uh we've got it folded in half now and the shape of our mouse is starting to come together now we're going to shape its tail for that we're going to take the long pointed bit that we haven't yet really worked with not like the nose and bring it forward the further you bring it forward the shorter the mouse's body going is going to be the less far you bring it forward the longer the mouse's body is going to be so that is purely preference however you want it to be bring that forward and then fold it back and very similarly the shorter space you leave here the longer the tail is going to be the longer you space you leave here the shorter the tail is going to be now we want to reverse those folds to the other side and then we do that because that will allow us to take this section to the inside so we're going to take that section and just bring it open it back up for a moment bring it in and close it back down so now we have separated the tail from the body last part is just a finishing touch on the ear we're going to choose a point about halfway down this crease and bend that flap backward and flip it over and do the same thing just bending it backwards so that it matches the first one and the final step is to open up this little pocket that we've created i can get my fingernail into it open up this little pocket and press this crease open so that the ear forms like that that's my favorite part i think it's so cute um flip it over do the same thing on the other side open up the pocket press this crease open and there we have it a nose a tail an ear you can take a pencil and draw your nose and an eye on if you want to. Put some whiskers on if you like. I like them the way that they are. But drawing on them is awesome too. And because he has this open part at the bottom, he can stand up. That is what I did today, my friends. I folded a mouse. I would love to hear what you're doing today. 
Um, I, I don't think I've ever mentioned before, but I post videos every single day. So tune back in tomorrow for something new. Um, I will see you another day. And, oh, remember to subscribe. Bye.